Yo, what's going on guys? So today I'm going to talk about a method that's greatly improved my aim and my recoil control, and I really haven't heard anybody else talk about this. As I'm sure a lot of you guys know, the majority of Warzone consisted of using a 3x scope on your long range AR. This is for obvious reasons in that it gives you a larger target to shoot at, and also these scopes actually reduce your recoil. The problem with this is that a lot of people have become so accustomed to the 3x scope that they're not actually improving their aim and they're just using the scope as a crutch. So what I recommend doing is try using a gun with its iron sights or use a red dot with no magnification. This is going to make it so you have to be a lot more precise and you have to control the recoil a bit more. It's going to be a little difficult at first, but once you get used to it and you start beaming people with iron sights, once you switch back to your 3x scope you're going to be absolutely mapping kids. So this is the gun I was using. I was using an MW M4 with the iron sights. Other viable options you can use is the Grau and the FFAR. But of course, whatever you want to use is preference. In this case, I just had a throwing knife as a secondary and I was using restock and stun grenades because stun grenades make solos so easy. So in this game you guys are about to see, it's going to be a solos game and it's actually a live commentary where I'm talking through my thoughts live to give you guys a bit better insight on how I go about engaging enemies. But anyways, drop a like if you guys enjoyed and subscribe because I'm going to be posting more Warzone tips like this, but let's get into it. Yeah, flight path's going right over military, and there's a truck there with bounties. I gotta go military. Aw, uh, look at this poor guy I just landed in. We should be able to run this guy over and then loot this bunker. Usually when I come military, I like getting the truck or just any vehicle and then looting the bunkers as they're generally uncontested and they have really good loot. Oh, this buggy's coming through. I need him to turn a little bit more or else I won't have a good angle. God, he set that up perfectly for me. The way he turned to the right gave me a really good angle on the driver's seat. This guy looks like he's... Yeah, he's getting in it too. Wow, that was literally perfect the way those guys, like, turned and gave me those angles. Alright, my bounty got poached. I gotta... Yeah, I gotta get some of these bounties in military. Oh, I just heard a shot. Yep, there he is. He's got a sniper. He's a CDL skin, so he's probably sweaty. I need to make sure I take my time. Okay, he's peeking the window. Okay, so right there, that guy got really bad timing to where I, he, I peeked as he was like hopping out. But even if he didn't hop out, I would have been able to slide cancel and break his camera. And I probably would have been able to beam him through that window anyways. But we'll get this bounty. My bounty just drove off from this. There's still a guy in here. Okay, I, I have to push. It was a little bit risky, but we had him one shot, so I just had to go for it. I got a good bullfrog too, I can go push my bounty. This guy's not peeking through the window at all. Even though I think this guy's awful, I still don't want to push. Yeah, I see him right there, I should be able to... I kind of choked that. Jesus, what the hell? He just beamed me so hard right there. It sounded like he hopped out. What the hell, I was getting... It sounded like he jumped out, but... Whatever, he had an MP5. No wonder he beat me so hard. Alright, time for the trusty M4. I always feel like a CDL player when I pick this gun up. Same with the MP5. I was pinging a guy at this compound earlier. Let me pop this UAV. Oh, he's outside. Let's see. Okay, he's moving. I thought he was AFK for a second. Yeah, we just hop out, camera him. Make sure you guys center before you guys hop out. It's a big thing I talk about in my videos. This guy just pulled up to the house right here. If I get on this hill and he peeks the window, I'll have a really good angle. Because I'll have high ground on the window. Here he comes. Nah, he's not going to commit. I'm gonna try and hop through the window. Yep. So as you guys saw when I was driving up, I third personed and I I saw he was looking at the window, so I stunned so he'd get his eyes off the window and he'd just start looking at the staircase. That's exactly what he did. This guy's hitting the buy station. He's probably gonna run back in to his little house right as I pull up. Or not. Wow, there's really three players over here. I could kill that guy, but I'm gonna go for this guy out in the field. This guy's pretty free since he's just out in the open. 
Also, these guys aren't really going to fight each other, so they're not going to die anyways. Yep, there's still two over here. Right there, all I did was center before I hopped out. Pretty easy kill right there. There's still this guy in restaurant, but this building is terrible to push. I'm just going to go for the guy down at the buy. That building just has so many choke points. Oh, this guy's coming my way. I kind of whiffed. Oh, he hopped out. He's a maniac. What was he thinking? It's another gunfight where all I had to do is put him in the middle of my screen before I hop out and pull the trigger. I might just push this guy in restaurant with stuns. Okay. Speaking pretty hard. Yeah, he, he overcommitted way too much there. And again, that's like, what, the fourth or the fifth gunfight where all I did was center. And it just got me a free kill. Guy in the garage. He's probably going to dip out on the ATV once he sees him coming. Yeah, I think... I don't know, he's just sitting in there. I could stun if I want. I just took the gunfight there because I don't want to, like, throw a stun and then get caught in the animation. Get really bad timing. There he is. This guy's got a really good head glitch right there. I don't know if I can peek that. Okay, so right there, since I was kind of worried about his head glitch, I kind of peeked, put some shots into it, and then unpeeked. Just to like kind of test the waters, I guess. And then after I saw he didn't really do much, I went for the kill. My bounty just died over here. And he had Twitch in his clan tag. Okay, this looks like the guy who killed him, probably. This guy was holding something in his hand. That's why I hopped out rather than going to run him over. Yep, he has a C4 on his body. That would have killed me. Wow, I can't believe I downed him. I couldn't even see him right there. This guy on the hill looks free. Should be able to like drive up and get high ground him on him as well. Oh, this car went low ground. I think he messed up. I'm gonna have a good angle right here. Yeah, and his vehicle was low. You have to stay high. I gotta focus this guy behind me. Should be able to stun him right here. Oh, he's behind this rock. I thought he was behind the other one. Yeah, I thought he was behind the big rock, but we at least forced him off the high ground. That way we got easy shots. So there's a guy back at school. This is probably that CDL skin I killed earlier. He was pretty... He was Well, he's kind of sweaty. We should still be able to kill him if we get high ground right here. Yeah, and I hopped out on like a little head glitch. I need a new vehicle now though. Uh, this buggy looks like it's the closest one. Okay, I'm gonna go push this guy in the hut. If he stays in there, I'll be able to spam nades at him. Alright, he's moving to the bunker. Hopefully he peeks this door. Wow, that was actually way too close. He almost hit that molly. Basically what I did there is he was like pre-firing the, the doorway. And I kind of just waited for him to stop shooting. And then I pushed in. Okay, I could go push this guy. He's got a truck too. I'll just fight this guy, I guess. This guy looks a little sweaty. I'm going to spam nades at him. Okay, he's probably going to be around the corner. So he's stunned. Okay, metal door. Hear him to the right. That kill was really about audio. I heard the metal door, and then I heard footsteps to the right. So I knew he was either going to be like on the bunker or just preaming the door. There was this guy with the truck earlier. If I can kill this guy, I'll be able to take his truck. I just saw him first floor.
Wow, he just gifted me that. I don't I don't even know what this guy was doing. Pretty sure a guy pulled up to this brick house as I was fighting that other dude. I could push him with the truck and just hop through the window, but I'd rather just beam him from afar because it's safer. Yeah, he's peeking me now. Oh, he's one. Yeah, he's not going to peek anymore. Usually after you beam someone really hard, they just won't peek you. I think I'm going to try and just push this guy through the window. Wait, what the heck? <laughs> it's, I don't think this is the same guy. The other guy had like more of a shadow skin. Let's see. I'm trying to like look through the window right now to see if it, there's still a guy in here. Yep, there's one. What the heck? I think he like C4'd me. I oh know there's someone rocketing from the other house where I got that previous kill. I have stuns for this guy so I can maybe make this work. That was way too close. I stunned myself and then I missed one of those nades. This truck on the hill is going to be a problem. The only way I get to him is if I get this jeep right next to me. The only problem is, is there was that guy with the RPG in this house. I'm just going to grab it and wrap around. Or wrap the other way. The heck? Oh, this guy had like a Strella or something. It's unlucky. Alright, well, we'll spectate the rest of this game, I guess. See what we can learn from it. There's two guys left. He sees one right there and the other one's to his left. Truck guy's shooting at him. He needs to beam this guy right now. There's no way he gets up the hill if he doesn't shoot him right now. This guy's a really good angle too with his Farah. Nah, you just sold. Yeah, it's a one-on-one -on -one now. And that guy's got high ground in a truck. What is he ADSing? He sees him on the mini-map in the truck. Oh, there he is. I think the, yeah, the guy just saw him. This guy's a good player. He's just driving around in circles waiting for him. Yeah, he had to third party him. That was his only chance. Alright, so before I end the video, I wanted to talk about something I might be doing on this channel, which is subscriber gameplay review. So basically for a video in the future, I'm going to be trying to review one of your guys' gameplay. All you have to do is post your game on YouTube. Make sure it's only got like game audio, you know, comms and stuff are fine, but obviously no music. Once you've posted your game on YouTube, send me a DM of the link to the video on Twitter. I'm going to have my Twitter link down in the description. And from there, all you have to do is let me know in the message what you're trying to work on, what your goals are, and stuff like that. And obviously, I'll try and help you guys out as best as I can. I also know this video being a live commentary was a little bit different, so let me know what you guys think of that. I could definitely keep doing more of these. But as always, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.